Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you the OnePlus One running Oxygen OS. This is OnePlus's very own version of Android Lollipop, and a lot of you have been waiting for this update and have asked me about this update, so I thought I'd show you what's different from Lollipop itself. Now there is Cyanogen Mod 12, which isn't available yet, and they say that's due to some signing issues and they're waiting on that. However, Oxygen OS is available to download, and I'll leave a link to that in the, in the description below. However, Oxygen OS is basically Android Lollipop with a couple added features. So you can see it's got all the animations and I'm installing some things right now. I actually uh, just updated this and I'm restoring everything. So I thought I'd show you exactly what it has. Now, one of the new things it has is some new wallpapers. And I know a lot of you like that. So we'll go through some of these different wallpapers here. These are pretty stock, but if you go all the way to the end, you've got one plus wallpapers and they're pretty nice. You can see you've got a road and a park bench and some other really nice looking wallpapers and they come stock on this particular ROM. Now the instructions for flashing the ROM are, are pretty much straightforward if you've ever flashed a ROM before. So not too bad there. And once I got that up and running, Real simple, I just signed in with Google and started restoring everything. So really nice there. And one of the newer things you can do is you can rearrange, let me swipe all these off the screen. You can rearrange all of these different icons and you can do that with this little button right here. So if we hit this, we can just tap on this and slide it around. Maybe I want the auto rotate here. Uh, maybe I don't want it there at all. I can just tap on it and it will go away. So let's get rid of cast screen, invert colors, and auto rotate hit this little button to lock it in and you can see they all disappear the ones i don't want if i want to bring them back just tap on it and they all come back so it's a really nice little feature and aside from that we still have the gestures so when the screen is off we can do a circle to turn on the camera and it's just the stock android camera the other thing we can do is turn on the flashlight we do a v you can see the light lit up behind it do another V, shuts it back off, and we have those different gestures built in now. Let's go back into here. Now under settings, you can see there's the gestures, and you have those different four gestures, and you can turn them on and off if you'd like. The other thing you can do is change the software and hardware buttons, just like you could before, and those buttons basically move these physical sort of touch buzz buttons onto the bottom of the screen. You see that here turn it on or off depending on what you want. And then you've got a couple different settings here as well. So pretty much stock Android with a couple added features that most people loved from the previous version of Cyanogen mod that was on here before. Now, as far as stability, that sort of thing, I can't really say because I haven't used it that long, but hopefully it will be pretty stable. Now, if you've, if you're going to want Cyanogen mod, you obviously can flash it yourself with a nightly build or just wait for the official version to come out hopefully this week. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've flashed this already, what do you think of it? How stable has it been for you? And if you haven't, uh, you definitely should check it out if you're interested. There's definitely a lot of other ROMs you could flash on here, but this one's worth checking out at least. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.